Hey, John Aremza here. Welcome to my website. You're going to find a wealth of information here. But what I want to talk to you about now is the success guide. You know, when I came into the industry now 34 years ago, the person who brought me in essentially disappeared. So I had no sponsor. I had no upline. If that might be you, or maybe you're just looking for answers, or maybe you're struggling looking for, hey, what do I need to do to move my business forward? I put this success guide together. And this is not fluff this is exactly what i do i think you're going to find tremendous information and guidance and as i put this together i kept that in mind not to overwhelm you with everything but to give you the most important basic things for your success. Okay, let's jump into it. The ROAR success guide. First off, what does ROAR mean? ROAR stands for right or almost right. You know, I've written a book called Right or Almost Right. What I find is so many people out there are struggling and yet they think they're doing everything right. In fact, they're doing it almost right. Think about Tiger Woods. You can barely tell the difference in his swing versus another great golfer. The result is a major difference. That's what I want to give you. I want to make those little adjustments that can make a major difference in your business throughout this guide one of the things about this business is everything you do and i mean everything sets an example of how other people think they have to do it everything you do right and this begins with the way that you get started the order that you place because i promise you every time you sit down across from somebody they're going to say you know what looks really good what did you do to get started and the way you should get started is somewhere between serious and nervous you need to have enough into this thing that's going to get you up off the couch and motivate you but also position you to make the most money for the time and effort you put in right so i go through that in this guide to really help you which is going to help you explain it to other people. The other thing in getting started that I think people really brings down their resistance if they can see a pathway to get their money back. So in here, I talk about the ROI, the return on investment. If this is really understood, you know, making that investment of say $7.99 becomes much easier because they see the pathway to get their money back. So I clearly outline that in here as well. Now, step one, you've gotten yourself started. Now there is a checklist. There's a handful of things that you really need to know. There's a lot of things you could do, but there's really only a handful that are really, really super important. And that's what I really focused on without overwhelming you, just giving you a handful of things that are really, really important. You need to know your why, right? If you don't have a strong why, you're gonna abandon it at the first obstacle. You need to make time commitment to this. You can do it spare time, but not very effectively. You need to allocate some time and the time you put in needs to match your goals. You can't say, well, I wanna make $10,000 a month, but I'm only gonna put an hour a week Weekend, right the other thing developing your story I tell people you've learned everything you need to know to be successful here in kindergarten it's called show and tell right we tell stories about our company about our products about what's happened to us and what's happened to others so developing a compelling exciting story keeps people attention and attracts people is incredibly important and so if you're telling your story and no one is interested you're not telling a good story so I'm gonna help you understand how to tell that best story in addition to that understand this is not a get rich quick program you go through three stages stage one you're going to be underpaid stage two you're going to be paid what you're worth stage three you're paid more than anyone's worth the key to understand here this is not a job this is a business it takes a while to grow and mature you start out by yourself then you get to stage two where you got a team in place and then as that team grows and develops you can reach stage three where you're worth more than anyone put your list together talk a little bit about mindset the dmo another important set of fundamentals that you do every single day that you become so routine and natural to you it's like getting ready in the morning personal checkup helps you troubleshoot your business a set of fundamental activities that are very important and you can kind of rank yourself the key here is to be very very honest with yourself how am i really doing right when it comes to filling my pipeline meaning getting my pipeline full of prospects on a scale of one to ten how am i doing how am i doing on the follow-up am i doing it on a timely basis am i doing the three-way phone calls am i plugging into the zooms and the events and all those things so it's kind of a checklist to see how you're doing so you can kind of zero in on where you need to improve now step two is when we're going to begin to introduce people to the business okay the key here again is having a strong list remember this that people buy people 
It's your passion, your posture, your belief, your enthusiasm about what it is you're doing that attracts or influences others. So I help you understand how important that is, I'll give you some scripts to make it easier, some opening lines. Have you ever thought about doing anything different just between you and I? How are things really going? Do you have a plan B? Even things like when somebody says, you know, I'm not interested. Little scripts like, listen, this is way too big. You're way too smart not to take a few minutes to understand what's happening here, right? So little scripts to help make it easier. In addition to that, I talk a little bit about overcoming some of the most commonly asked objections, things like, is this a pyramid or who sells the product or, um, you know, I've never sold before. Little things just help you overcome some of the very, very commonly asked questions as well as techniques like the feel felt found. Talk a little bit about social media and some of the important things to understand and know and be familiar with uh, within your back office. So step one, we prepared ourselves Step two, we're going to introduce our prospects to the business. And step three is where we're going to follow up and build belief. The key here is doing it on a timely basis. And so I give you some tips, some ideas, some fundamental ways to overcome those objections again and move that person through the process. And step four is getting a positive decision. So many people are afraid to ask for money or ask somebody to do something. They just want them to jump out and say, I'm ready. Uh, that rarely happens, right? So helping people understand the philosophy of a decision, some techniques to move someone to a decision like the Ben Franklin or the scale of one to 10. There's a little overview here on the compensation plan as well. And then the back of the book is just kind of where you can really articulate your goals and get your list together. So I know you're going to love it and I know it's going to help you succeed in this business.